Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 48 of the raid series. Now, uh, in the previous episode, we were trying to get as many tasks done as possible. And I was hoping, but by now I would have um, the level 40 so I could get the Bitcoin farm level two started and also graphics cards going in there. However, I've had so many technical difficulties in the last like 48 hours and stuff going on that um, it's not happened yet. So in this episode, we're gonna try and get some tasks done. And on top of that, we're going to uh, try and get some more graphics cards into the out level two Bitcoin farm. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So as I was saying, Bitcoin farm level two has now been finished and we can start putting graphics cards in there. Um, it's around about 16 hours of graphics card, uh, sorry, uh, Bitcoin at the moment. And Bitcoins are actually sitting at a really good price right now. Um, let's just have a look. There were 840K yesterday. Ooh, they've dropped down to 730. Um, it's up to us how many Bitcoin uh, Bitcoins. So I've had some issue with the camera. If the camera drops in and out, I'm sorry, guys. The I, literally the computer blue screened so i'm trying and i'm hoping to the gods that we can get through an episode um i don't know what's going on with it so i'm just trying my best to to get through this so if the camera drops out i do apologize we might even have part of the episode without a camera if it dies so um, let's just see how we go now um the bitcoins at the moment 730k graphics cards ha have been tinkering up around the uh two mil mark i'm really trying to get this done as, as much as possible like as many of these as possible before they go any higher um but yeah we could definitely it's up to us if we want to hold on to bitcoins or or just sell them um i just want to check if there's no hidden bitcoins in the background somewhere uh look at that ah. so we just got that one bitcoin um we'll sell this one here now uh 5.2 million i'll probably just get two graphics cards for now One, two, and I don't really want to put us down to like really, really low, um, just to, you know, play it safe. So two more. It looks like they took an hour off. They took another hour off. So, um, you know, it all really does add up. So we get more and more uh, Bitcoins per day. Uh, when we do have 25 Bitcoins, so graphics cards, we'll get two Bitcoins a day. So that's going to be pretty sweet, particularly with how much money they're bringing in. Now, um... As for the episode itself, what do we want to get done today? I probably want to lean towards um, either getting into interchange and uh, getting, I guess, survivals done. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a tricky one there. We do still have chumming to finish up, which is get two more PMC kills during the night time. Um, or we can push through some of the Peacekeeper quests and just survive a shoreline run. Um, and we'll be able to get through this done. So I'll probably do... We'll, probably start with the shoreline quest first all we do we really need to do a survivor run it's up to us if we want to do extra stuff in there um just checking to see if they make sure there's nothing else that we want to do while we're there um if we do go to the dorms we also do get to check for off scopes yeah i think we're probably just going to go for a survival of shoreline now the peacekeeping mission is not a required quest um for the cabin container what i might do it's up to us, um, but I think I'll, what I might do is I might take in ooh, maybe an M4. It, it'd be nice to take in an M4, but we could also do it with the AK-105. Instead of taking this site, um, what we'll do is we take in a... Oh, that's horrible ammo. If we've got some 7 and 39 which isn't too expensive generally. 7N39. That's already sold. All right, we've got a bit of ammo with that. Now, if we were to grab a 60 round mag, and then we've got that 30 rounder there. So put that in there. And the reason why I want to use 7N39 is so we can go for headshots at 100 meters now i want to use a valde um it's pretty much my 
favorite site for longer ranges, either Valde or Voodoo. So let's go with the Valde. Um, I'm tempted to use the Voodoo. I'll show you what the Voodoo is. Let's do a one run with the Voodoo. Uh, link set. And so the way this works, all right. Obviously, we're not trying to get in there and get in close and personal with um with players. We want to try and take the range, get some long range snipes. Now, the reason why we want to use 1739, it's a really high pen. And if we get the uh if we land the hit on the head, they're nearly guaranteed to die. Like there's very few helmets that will be able to survive the hit. It should actually take a bit of a drop in the yeah. Um, these are not really good mods on there at all. What's this one like? Better. Oh, it won't go on it. Oh, put that on it. There we go. go it's down to 82. Mm, any quick fixes? We could put, um, for the pistol grip. That's a really bad pistol grip on there too. I don't mod guns very often, but when they're this bad, it's kind of like, mm, maybe I should. Go skier. We could buy like an RK3 or something. Um, pistol grips. Maybe they're down the bottom more. Down here. Like an RK3. Nice and cheap. They're only 9k. Um, just like 12 ergo versus 6. A bit of a bit of a drop. A bit of a, a bit of a difference. Alright, so. Uh, and we're gonna get rid of that round. So we're gonna go into shoreline and our objective is to get those long range snipes. And hopefully make some money along the way, because. Who doesn't like making money? Um, we need four more Fiend Found in Raid. So we'll take that one. Four, five, six. And we don't need to take any more from here. So we'll just go in there with the full intention to get some long range snipes and some loot. So, and this, if we survive the raid, we get two kill, uh, two quests done. So it's a bit of a win there. All right, shoreline. We actually do have insurances to claim as well. I'm going to ensure that in case we do find some good stuff. We don't need to take the 570 in, actually. Uh, and if we do find some good stuff, then we can um, insurance fraud. Or if we kill a player. All right, let's go. All right, so into shoreline we go. Now, obviously, this site is bloody ridiculous when it when you look at it from this perspective. But you're going to see the power of it if, we, uh, if we're able to pull off what I want to try and do. So... Do some hidden stashes along the way. Now, there will be players in this direction over there. If I really wanted to, I could try and get a snipe off on one of them. There is a hidden stash over there. I just want, I'm just going to skip those ones. If we hear some gunshots, we can go over and try and get one of the headshots. more than possible we get around here running right to left along there even up on this hill and then of course behind us from where we just came from so I'm gonna sit here for a second main reason is people will be heading from over there across to the resort it's not the best spot to be doing it i'd rather be up on the top but we'll keep an eye out anyway so gonna keep moving we can go back down here and check hidden stashes along the way Uh, 
this one. And there's nothing stopping us just running straight to the extract right now because um We already got the two quests complete, we just gotta survive the raid. But if we can get a hundred meter headshot, I think we should try and go for it. Um, now I know we haven't done a lot of shoot one heaven stuff yet, but a lot of people ask me if I think you should zero and I don't think you should. So you're better off just getting used to how far people are away and then aiming above. Use the same gun, same, like same caliber with the same sight and then just aim up for it. And you pretty much can't go wrong that way. Very quiet raid so far. What we should have done, in all seriousness, is we should have just brought a sniper rifle. I didn't think about that. Drop. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to the middle. Whoa, did I just see someone? I swear I just saw someone go across there. Man, this being so quiet is actually scary for me. I wish there was more scabs throughout the whole raid because scabs give away players' positions. So if there's someone at the power station right now. That's a scab down. There was someone that I did see. I think. Now we're gonna go in here. What I wanna do inside here is just check a couple of things. Mostly so we can try and make some money and then we'll start heading towards the extract. If you're after making money right now, which obviously we're not doing that episode right now, but um, the this is the HEPS key, by the way, H E P S. Um, you can get some, you can make some serious dough in here. Um, there's an Intel spawn underneath that desk. Right now, computer parts is just a gold mine for making money. It was a shot this end. I don't know where it was from, though. Why you quit, oh, Gav. Hitting the rail every time. Oh, a little bit frustrating.
All right, I'm gonna head towards the extract. I'm more worried about players finding me out in the open while I'm uh, fighting at the power station than anything right now. Most of the fighting will be happening up at the resort. And there'll be people running around the resort, so. For now, though, we're just going to make our way to the extract and then probably go do an interchange run. We can do another, um, can do another shoreline run, but. We definitely need to focus on leveling up that, uh, the old Mosin. I'm going to run across here. I've got an idea for a money-making run that's not computers as well. Um, and I might test that out next week. Next week's episode. It's actually... It's actually pretty nuts when I think about it. But I'll keep you guys in the, uh, in the loop once... I think about it a little bit more, but let's just see. Um, heading this way, I'm mostly avoiding just everyone right now. All the players will be either minimum going through cottages, heading up towards resort. I just want to get out of this raid now. Let's keep a quick look down here for for scavs before we get our breath back, and then over here for scavs. And you can see the power of the voodoo right here. So, you know, we could take take that shot. That scav will come over here. Most likely. Otherwise he'll sit in that bush. Not in the bush, but he'll sit. I think that's his head right there, so. Oh, he just moves again. Stand still for us. Damn. Um, just keep moving. Right, so I'd say that's about 200 meters. So we'll go two mil dots down and maybe a little bit high. And I love, I'm just using traces. Maybe it's 250. Doesn't look that far. Maybe I overshot. We'll get out of here and we'll see how far the shot was. It'll tell us in the uh, end screen longest shot, so. Alright, let's get out of here. Because we spawned down the coastline and we just pretty much went straight along the, uh, the edge via power station, there's not really a lot that happened during that. But we did get our two quests done, so that's the important part. Um, the part thing was, yeah, a little bit along the coast, up to the power station, straight back along the coast to the extract. Nothing too crazy there at all. I missed. So I missed both shots. I think I shot high. Had to have shot high. That's fine, though. Um, all right. So now that those two quests are done, option is either go back into shoreline or we um, or we go into interchange and try and get those two PMC kills. I am trying to attempt to go interchange for the two PMC kills, but hmm, I'll wait and see. Wait for this loading screen. Let's buy tool part three. Now for this one, we've got to hand in a heap of stuff. Which we've already got collected. Oh, we didn't plant the thing on shoreline yet. All right, so this is actually go into the the uh, inside actual uh, the resort. All right, maybe we'll do that then. Vendor, this goes down here. 
pretty much most of this is vendor stuff. LCDs. I don't think they're going to sell for much. Nah, not really. Pretty sure that's what they sell for on the, the vendor. Um, they'll sell... Um, is blue selling for much at the moment? Hmm, it is actually good money. Sell the vendor. We've already done the Ragman quest to hand that stuff over, haven't we? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Ragman. Yeah, you got. Would be able to sell that for more on the flea, but a little bit lazy. Nine. Twelve. Doubt shampoo sells for anything. Hmm. More than I thought it would. And then mechanic that. It's actually a little bit crazy how um, little we have to worry about money whilst we uh, have that Bitcoin farm going at the moment. So now that we're going into the resort, because we're going to go back to Shoreline, it's really not a good idea for us to take in this site. At least on that gun. Uh, and we'll just probably grab like a Pico 6 from here. Put it on the front. We'll put it on the back. Um, pretty straightforward. We're going to go into the resort. We're going to go into East and West Wing. And then also mark the mark circle. We need another marker for that. And we need West 220, which we have. Let's wait. Got a tape key. Nothing else to hand in. We should be good to go. So, back into shoreline. We're going to go to the resort. And probably run into people this time, for sure. If we're going to resort. We'll try our luck. Probably sell these for profit on the flea market, I believe. Yeah. Bit crazy. Guessing it's just to make green gunpowder, but I don't understand why people can't just buy per reset. Anyway, maybe there's another reason I'm missing. All right, let's go. Draw line, daytime. Let's do it. All right, so heading into shoreline. This map can be quite brutal. At the resort, I didn't bring an SJ6. So that's my own fault there. Hopefully we get a good spawn. And we don't. We have the opposite to a good spawn. But we'll see how we go. So. This is where I was on the left hand side. I was like, alright, we'll try and snipe people going across. This is, I, I am that person. That we would have tried to snipe. I'm going to try and slightly to go more right. There is a spawn up there. I'm not too worried about that one. I'm more worried about the one that's going to be up on the hill in front of us, and maybe we can just run up on him. Yeah. 
Not enough to get us a sniper. No ammo, but... And I'm dead. Fucking <laughs> joke. I don't even know where that guy spawned from. He's somewhere to my left. <sighs> and that was a thorax, I reckon. Yep. One shot to the thorax. What armor was I wearing? Am I wearing a class five? Or under something? Anyway, we ran up, moved a little bit, died. There wasn't really much to that. Look at 7N1 to the thorax. What armor was I wearing? Was I not wearing armor? No, I had to have been wearing armor. Sorry, my brain's just a bit fried right now. It's been a it's been an annoying day. I spent hours trying to get this camera working, so. Um Back to resort we go anyway. Um, what I'll do is I'll chuck on another loadout and we'll go again. I'm sure I had like... I'll have to look at the footage. I'm, I'm fairly confident I had a, a half decent armor on. Um, let's see. What gun do I want to use now? Go AK-74N. Rig. Med. Med. Don't need them. Grenade. Get another 60 rounder if we've got one. This is where having a Velde would be good. Go 7N. I'll put the Velde on it. Um, I don't really want to go night time. So, armor-wise, what do we want to use? I know I've got some armors I can get back from therapist, I believe. Oh, no. You already got them back. Um, well, there's that. We do now have Peacekeeper 4, so I can buy that. Chuck that on there. And then all I need to do is grab this. And some sort of body protection. Which. Let's just get this. I'm just going to be lazy. This should be good enough. All right, we're going to go in. And then hopefully have a bit more success this time. Got some backup ammo. Got the meds. All we need is one of these. Hopefully this will be better. All right, let's go. All right. Again. This is the opposite side though. So we should have a pretty cruisy run. I don't think we'll have any issues getting to the resort. Um, the, the people we'll run into are going to be getting to the resort as we get there. So... There is an option. Uh, a little, we could cut slightly in that way and try and get some shooter born and heaven kills. And the people running up to resort. But that's probably the only real thing that we could do right here. I'm slightly looking towards doing that just to see if we can snag one. Just trying to get over here real quick. Most people won't run across that field. Unless they're being like super keen to get the resort.
Hmm. Trying to look for any sort of movement. It, it sounded like power station. I, I don't think it could have been bus depot. Is that M700 just then? What I'm doing right there is I was holding the mouse wheel down. Free looking. Doesn't look like I'm getting anyone coming up to resort. Might see him cross left to right in front of us. No way, that's the scav. That sounds like the scav. Now, that shot that was the uh, motion shot behind me, that's probably on that side of the swamp. There's like a scav spawn around there. I don't think we'd be able to see them from here because this part would block us. But it's like over in this bit. All those shots are down the bottom. All right, I think it's time we move to resort. I'm playing this slower than normal. Um, mostly because I want to try and get a shooter born in heaven, kill or two if possible, but... It seems that that's not going to be the case right now. So... Now, for the resort, east and west 220. And we also need to go to third floor east wing. We're going to move nice and quick. I don't want to get stuck on the outside here. Get inside. Gotta go to this window. Cool. Quest done for that. Gold spawn right here. 
I'm gonna put this at six and that is seven now. I don't need that. All right, west side we have 216 and 301 we can check. This is 216. You get graphics cards and or Tetrises in here. It's worth us checking on our way past. This one's right here. There's a Tetris. So you must get there. Bam. We just made 700k. Some extra meds. Ibuprofen. Do that with the other one. Put that there. Got that on four. Now you know why we came in here. I think we have Devil Dog Mario, but just in case we don't, I'm going to grab it. And... 7 and 39 ammo. And rubles that we can just put in straight into there. Cool. This will be the sketchy part right here. Alright, while we're here, we're best off checking 301 for a lead X. And an ophthalmoscope. Always check that. Um, it's a bit weird. Weird on the rendering. No lead axe there. Lead axe one in here. More propital. Right, um. Now, for med spawns, it's up to us if we want to check all the spawns. I do want to get an ophthalmoscope if possible, so. Just a matter of we're going to have to check as we go. These scav bodies, they, they've got a chance to have pretty much anything. Alright, for the crossover. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to go admin building. Just to play it a little bit safer. Check the bottom here. Moonshine. Worth a bit. Go up. Doesn't look like anyone's been here yet. No key spawn. CPU fans are selling for like 70k right now. No red key card. Toothpaste will just. I don't believe I got the. Got one of the admin keys. I think it's this one. Now, if you want to just make serious cash, just loot every computer. I know we don't have a backpack right now, so. I don't want to hold on to the splint. The ripstop can go. Even circuit boards are worth heaps right now. PSUs are worth a bit. I'm not going to loot everything. I'm just going to keep moving. Alright, this is always the scary wing. Like East has been opened. Maybe it hasn't. Right, we can take our time here. Pretty sure he's on second floor. 
That grenade went off on second floor. I know where he is at least. We move fast enough. I think we can probably get away with this. Never tried going prone here. Two probitals. Do this. We have two, two, six, so we have the closer one. Oh, there's our ultimate scope. That's big. We have work to do now. We have to get out of this raid. Second Tetris. Right. All right. Circuit board, you can go. Augmented, you go. Um, 35. That can go too. We need to get to 220. Next one down. Alright, quest done there. Now we're going to get to third floor. Shots out this way. Alright, we have the ultimate scope. Let's get out of here. We need to run. Go, 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 go. We're about 12 minutes into the raid, I think. So there's potential people will be heading towards Extract as well. That guy in Resort, I don't know if he knows what he's doing or not. Like, he shot out the second floor window. Which is a strange one to shoot out. Unless he was shooting at someone. I'm just trying to get as much distance as I can. As quickly as I can. And then once I get back here, I'm going to go focus on getting full stamina again. So let's go to some distance from the resort. If 
we get that Ophelma scope handed in, we're going to be very, 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 very happy. Now, I don't usually like to hug the walls closely. I'd rather be a little bit away from the wall, hugging the trees. Like this. And that's mostly because if you're hugging the wall, you can only go right. You can't go left, right? So if someone's along the wall and they shoot at you, you can't run to the, the left. Which means they've just got to like pivot to one side. Just keep that in mind. It's only a small thing, but it's the same when you're running alongside buildings. You know, don't be run up against the building unless like you're trying to get cover from the top and there's some balconies and stuff to protect you. And we're going to go straight across. And out. Big win. That's a big win right there. So, off the scope. That's going to get us our... Um, it's not athlete, it's the other one. Uh, private clinic done. Um, two bitcoins. There's like an extra 1.5 million. Hopefully I can sell that um, thick item case straight away. That will give us... Um, I think they're selling for about 20 million. So, you know, there's 10 more graphics cards. And then that, that pretty, pretty much puts us to two bitcoins per day. Happy days. All right. And not to mention... Um, the 20,000 XP from this. I'm actually half tempted to get the 20,000 XP from this too. The 400k. How far are we from help? Oh, close. Um, all right, two peacekeeper quests. Bar tool part four, cult part two done. Um, let's just sell those two for now. Uh, I'll probably sell that. I just want to make some space for a second. Slickers are actually selling for a lot because you need scab vests. Not a lot, but it's money. Right. Um, two Tetrises. We'll sell both of them. Therapist. Get our thick item case. See how much this sells for. Really? There's only one up for sale right now? Why? Big item here. How much is this going to sell for? No way. 28. 977. 7, 7, 7. We need 3.7 million to put it up. Are they actually selling? Three, six, one, one, two, three. I know this is all our money, but this sells twenty eight nine seven seven one two three. Twenty eight million nine hundred seventy seven thousand. All right, we're at the uh, mercy of the gods right now. Hopefully that one sells. In the meantime, we've got our pennies back here. Uh, the GM counters we can just vendor. Gas analyzers will sell for 29k each. CPU fan. We'll sell instantly.
We're going to check on the Devilog Mayo. We have one, so we can just sell that. And gold chains. Are they selling for a bit? Because I haven't been finding them in his computer as often. As often. Eh. Hasn't really changed in price. Worries me that I have something up for nearly 30 million. Still have the lowest price. Guess analysis is selling. All right. That goes up there. If and or when they sell. There's the three gas analyzers sold. So it's up to that thick on case to sell. If it does sell, that is enough to boy 29 million. It would be the easy 15 graphics cards. And we have the uh, level two graphics cards complete. And we'll just fill this up. We only need 13 actually. Uh, water collector. Don't have any more for that. So much money. Uh, we still need memory for this one. How are we going for memory? We're nearly there. Cool. Uh, as for skill wise, we're nearly at level 39. Sorry, not skill wise. Uh, oh, it did. It just sold. Bam. Here comes the money. <laughs> 12 graphics cards. get 12 graphics cards. Bam. One. One. Two. All right, well, five of them. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Nine, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve. Got to pick the Vaseline. Order was already purchased. Now these are all selling. Wow. Well, welly. Oh, we're one short. Done. Cool. Now we have all the graphics cards. I don't think we're going to go past 25, but um, now we just need to make sure we have enough fuel to keep it going, which we have all this fuel. So that's good. <laughs> And I just got to log in, make sure I log in every uh, 36 hours to get the two, the three big, three big coins. But we are now grinning. Look at all that money too. Um, we are not going to struggle for the money for the rest of this series. So we can go really geared. I think we're running class five armors from now on. And uh, we can just focus on getting our tasks done. So I'm really happy with that. We also got a heap of tasks done in this episode alone. So um, other thing we can do, because now we've got the money for it. I'm just going to pay for this. And that gets athlete done. There's another 20,000 XP. And that should put us just shy level 29. Sorry, 39. So, um, happy with that. Docs case is probably going to be the next best thing for storage, at least. I don't know. I'm not going to be using the adrenaline at all. So, might as well sell that. And the Gustin. So, all right. Yeah, money-wise, we're good. I think um, we could start using air filters every time we want to. We already have the uh, the dollars, actually. Oh, they've gone up. It's actually up to us. Um, for the skills, physical... It's, it doesn't really help. Well, stress resistance isn't required 
I'm, I'm very confident stress resistance is not required for uh for the uh, for the for the kappa, but we need to get chumming done. That has to be our next objective. Get chumming done. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh the upgrade and we can just put it in if we feel like it. Um because we're gonna have the money. We're gonna be rolling in the money now. I would like to get library done though. That would be a nice one to get done. Everything else is pretty much done that's worthwhile. Um these filters. Right, water filters. They pretty much just make you free money. They're just annoying sometimes. And we could do upgrades if we want, but... Ah, this one probably is something we could consider doing. It's going to be expensive to do. Look at rollers at 700,000 a pop. 75k is so there. Cost the price. 300k. Just what? 1.4, 2.8. Wow, just to do scav runs. Is there anything that we're going to need? I think we've got the pestily mask. Uh, no, we don't. The mask isn't the biggest issue. We could probably get that from a jacket or a cultist pretty easily. Um, I thought we had the Shroud Shroud. Hmm. Maybe it's worth us doing that. We've got the beard oil. We've got the Lupo. We've got the Veritas, the Giant Cock. One G phone. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Got a few to go though. Alright, maybe we should do it. This is insane that I'm spending this much money on it though. Seven gold chains. Five. Seven. Six skulls. Two, three, four, five, six. Four lines. One, two, three, four. All right. And then we can use that with our spare intel and stuff. As we get it. Intel or... um. What else do we need? Intel. I can't remember. Intel and some other stuff. All right. Any change is going to be where we're going to go at. Oh, Intel. We can do the 85k ones, but the Moonshine is actually probably what we want to do as well. If we're going to do Moonshine, then we should do the Booze Generator. All right. Let's get this done. We can make our Moonshine. One, two. Everything's getting an upgrade. One, two. If they, if, if the Bitcoin plummets now, it won't be horrible, but it'll, it'll be a little bit annoying. Shouldn't have said that's going to happen now. Cool. That's one more of them. So that's good. One less thing. All right. So we've got upgrades happening left, right, and center. One, two, uh, three. I don't think we need to go to Bitcoin farm level level four or uh, three. It's not going to make any difference, but we will be getting two Bitcoins a day from now on. So heaps of money coming in. We can every, every time I film some, some episodes, I can make sure there's an air filter in there. I can put a water filter in. We can do scav runs every day. Um, and, you know, we can make some good cash and also go fully geared. So this is where we're at. It's been, it's been great getting up to here. So hopefully we can punch through some more stuff in the next episode. But for this one, that is all. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. Comment for the YouTube algorithm. I'm sure by now you understand that um, I've had a bit of a few issues with my channel uh, of recent. And with your help, um, you've been able to get it back into the YouTube recommended. Um, so yeah, commenting and liking on videos does go in a massive way. So please take the time to go and do it. I really do appreciate the support you guys give. Um, but yeah. If you want to check me out, I'm live streaming. Ask me any questions. When this video goes live, I will be live streaming on Twitch. So come say good day over there. But lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.